Hey guys, this is Tigaza in Robot Studio, as you can see. I've just uh, been making my own lightning in robots, which I've been wanting to do for ages. Here's my attempt at doing lightning. There we go. So, basically, I've been trying to do this for ever since I've been in robots, which is uh, since 2008. <laughs> And I'm finally getting there. It's not uh, it's not perfect at the moment, but I'm getting the results I'm looking for at the moment. The code behind it is a little bit complicated. It looks a bit complicated, but it's not really. Oh, I've messed up there, whatever. Yeah, so basically all that's working is uh, it's going to a point like you're drawing a line from point A to point B and then you subdivide it by how many segments you got and then once you've done once you've done that you randomize the direction where it's going from that point like as you see there that's a good one and then as it's dividing it's got a chance of branching which is basically what you're seeing it goes all the way down the line to it gets to its point. As the point itself, where I've set it slightly to go to, is uh, the weld center, which is zero zero zero. That's x one z. And basically, the fade of that is just a, just this, which is very very simple. Let's actually speed that up a bit. Uh, let's say 0 0.6 and speed up the. <clears throat> the drawing of the lightning 0.5 stop play there we go I'm still working on how to get it to branch better and the only thing I haven't got sorted out yet is the segments parts like uh, how many segments per branch and how many segments per of the main beam so it's getting there as you can see some of them look a little bit distorted it is slowly but surely getting there almost said surely then whatever <laughs> so yeah short but sweet there put my teeth in short, short but sweet video tonight and i catch you guys later oh show you the code so you can see what i'm doing let's let's actually close that close that so if you want to see how i'm doing it that's the uh that's the actual thing that creates the block or the brick yeah i forgot to say to show that but, uh, it is actually 3d as you can see so yeah I'm basically just creating a brick setting the C frame to end point to start point dividing that by two to get the middle point for the C frame very simple this part of it is a bit complicated as you can see lots of math random I could have put these into a uh, a custom function to clean it up a bit but I just uh, doing things sort of uh, dirty way of doing it if you like so yeah this part of it is the branch chance as you can see on that value there it's all it's set at a branch chance of 0.1 percent no 10 percent get my facts right so it's got a chance of actually branching as it as it divides or as it uh, changes direction. Anyway, enough explaining. I'll catch you guys later. Together, signing out.